Hey folks, and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Dee. Hello, welcome. On this channel, I create lifestyle content that consists of my everyday life, including my health and fitness journey. So in today's video, I wanted to start off a series that concentrates primarily on black content creators, influencers, whatever you wanna call them, that are within the fitness industry. So as y'all know, I have a wedding coming up and I wanna be in the best shape of my life, of course, but at the same time, I want to create better lifestyle changes in terms of my health and fitness. On one hand, I wanna do that, and on the other hand, I want to you know, provide my support to Black-owned businesses. So not only am I going to be doing that with you know, fitness programs and things like that, but I also am looking at you know, Black-owned um, athletic brands, you know, workout clothes and things like that that are solely from Black creators. So in this series, we're going to be kind of exploring those different programs, those different products and everything, giving our honest opinion and kind of going from there. So to start off the series, we're going to be starting off with a content creator, fitness guru, if you will, called Mecca Day. So I came across Mecca on Instagram and have been following her for I, I think maybe a year or two so far. And the reason why I was drawn to her is because she would always post videos of her OM glutes classes that she holds every Saturday, I believe. Now she's in the Atlanta, Smyrna, Georgia area. So of course, nowhere near Austin, Texas. But seeing these videos on Instagram were really kind of inspirational because one, you see this young black woman doing her thing. She's running her business and you know she's a great mom great partner all these things you also see the the people in her workout classes you see uh, lots of black and brown women and everybody in between you also see men in some of these classes so i thought it's just so cool to kind of see this young black woman doing her thing in the fitness industry making an impact in people's lives not only you know allowing them to have fun but while they're working out, they're working out. They're working on their fitness. They're getting healthier. They're working on their lifestyle changes and all of that and just trying to live that healthier, just better life. So after seeing, you know, of course, countless videos of her OM glutes classes and stuff, I was like, all right, I'm definitely gonna start this series off with Mecca's program. So what I did was I went on the website and just kind of explored around just to see what the website was like, to see what she had to offer in terms of classes and all of that. I didn't want to subscribe simply because I wanted to uh, just focus on one program of hers for the month and not have to have that commitment of subscribing every month. So when you go onto the site, you can choose to subscribe to her fitness programs or you can do like I did and just purchase a specific program from the store. So what you do is you simply go to the store section of the website and look at the different programs, see which one strikes your fancy and then purchase it. I love the name Butts and Guts, and <laughs> so since that's kind of the area, you know, the booty and the and the stomach area that I'm looking to kind of focus on, that's why I chose this program. Butts and Guts is amazing. I feel like a lot of times you hear programs that are like 30 days of hit or 30 days of like full body or 30 days of like building your arms or something. And sometimes these programs don't really have all that creative of names. So when I saw Butts and Guts, I was like, yes, I'm definitely going to start with this one because it's so, the name is so funny, but I feel like it's for the culture, you know, like this is, you know, I mean, anybody can do it. You don't have to be black or brown to do these fitness programs, of course, but I thought it just kind of paid ode to black culture and stuff through the name and I just thought it was fabulous. So I do have my computer here just to kind of, you know, keep me on track. I have uh, quite a few notes that I wrote down just to make sure that I kind of encompass everything. But of course, if there are any questions, um, you know, that y'all have or any kind of feedback or whatever, you know, I'm pretty open over here, then just let me know in the comments or you can DM me or send me a message or an email or whatever. And, you know, we can kind of talk to the through the program. One thing I did want to preface throughout this series is because I'm really all about, you know, myself and other people supporting black owned businesses, I won't be kind of outlining every single thing or every single concept of or every single aspect of each program. Right. Like I'm encouraging you all to check out their websites, you know, draw that traffic to their sites, draw that traffic to their Instagram accounts, you know, support them, you know, financially or just through a click or whatever it is that works for you. But I don't want to like 
give out a free program when I want you to, you know, support these black owned businesses just like I did. So what is Butts and Guts? So Butts and Guts is a 30 day program that concentrates on booty gaining and fat burning. So of course, in order to see any results from this or any program, you have to be consistent and you have to be dedicated. So within this program, there's a nutrition guide, which includes an example of a meal, a workout guide with a 30 day program, there are tutorial videos, and there's a Facebook support group. Now, I didn't join the Facebook support group simply because I didn't feel like I needed to. <laughs> I'm sure that it probably would have been really great in terms of accountability, but at the time, I really just wanted a guide on working out and uh, a meal plan, and it's what I needed, which is a plan. I am the type of person that needs someone to tell me what to do. Uh, when it comes to working out, I find that I do my best and stay committed when I have someone telling me what to do, or at least providing some guidelines. Mecca states in her collateral that the program isn't going to be easy, and, and it really wasn't, even up until the last day. Like There are certain moves that did become easier over the course of the 30 days, but even then, even when you felt like you had a relatively easy day, it's like the next day was hard as hell. <laughs> And I felt like I was struggling big time. But, you know, regardless of either how well I did a move or how quickly or how slow or whatever, I was determined to get through the program. So what does butts and guts include? So we already know that there is a workout plan, there's a nutrition guide, all of that. But I'm sure y'all, you know, want to know what the actual program looks like and kind of a breakdown of the workouts and all of that. And like I said before, you know, I'm not going to give you every day or a screenshot or of the you know, nutrition guide or the program or anything because I want to encourage you to check it out and purchase it for yourself. But I'll kind of give you a high level view of what it's like for the program. So within a week span for this program, you rested for two days and worked out for five days. So within those five days of working out, three of those days were dedicated to building your booty, you know, those booty gains, uh, strengthening your core, you know, kind of working on your abs and such, you know, kind of like strength training. Then there was one day that was concentrating on hit cardio. So, you know, things like burpees and quick knees and, you know, maybe standing crunches and things like that, that you're doing for 45 seconds. And then, you know, you take a break for like 15, 20 seconds in between. And then the last day was dedicated to a cardio of your choice. Now she did give you some examples of exercises to do if you just so happen to have a treadmill or a Stairmaster in your home. But considering the fact that the majority of us don't have those gym equipment in our home, she did say that we could kind of curate our own kind of cardio exercises using the ones that she provided for us for those hit cardio days. Now for me, what I would do is I would go bike riding and then after coming back from bike riding, I would do a couple of those hit cardio exercises with the 45 seconds on and then like 15, 20 seconds off. When it came to the nutritional side of the program, there were a couple of concepts that she wanted you to follow. Uh, the primary one being, you know, how much you're eating. So she wanted you to eat four to six meals a day. Ideally, it would be three full meals. So kind of like your breakfast, lunch and dinner. And then you would have three snacks in between. The next concept was to drink a gallon of water every day. And then the next a uh, concept that she put on there was to just kind of spread your protein intake throughout the day. So basically don't have all your protein in the morning or right before your workout, but have it all throughout the day. Okay, so what are some of the pros of this program? So for me, the first pro were the guides. I love having a fitness program that has a guide because I need someone to tell me what to do. I am not a fitness guru. I'm not a personal trainer or a content creator that solely focuses on fitness. So I can't just put a fitness program together for myself and be like, yep, this is going to work. It's going to guarantee, you know, toned arms and legs, a rounded booty, which I kind of already have. And, you know, flat stomach with an eight pack that you could wash clothes off of. You know what I mean? So I need someone to tell me what to do. And this one I loved because every day it had a list of the workouts that you were supposed to do. It gave a breakdown of what each of those days should look like. So your hit cardio days, you want to make sure that you're doing 45 seconds on, 20 seconds off, making sure that breaks, no matter what day you're working out, are few and far in between because that can be very detrimental 
to your progress. I love the fact that there was a nutrition guide and kind of helping with like how much water I should be drinking, how much food I should be eating, when I should be eating, you know, like before a workout versus after a workout and all of that. As I mentioned before, kind of spreading that protein intake throughout the day. These are things that I didn't really know about. I mean, obviously you wanna drink as much water as possible. Everybody knows that. But in terms of like eating and stuff like that, those were things that I really wasn't aware of before. And so it's nice to have someone kind of provide that information so that you can utilize it for future programs, whether you're participating in a program for this particular creator or somebody else. The next one is honestly the exercises. So there's no equipment needed for this, which I love because everyday normal people like myself and you who are watching this don't really have access to a bunch of gym equipment. We don't have a bunch of dumbbells, barbells, whatever you want to call them. We don't have a bunch of equipment. And so there are a lot of programs out here that require you to have dumbbells, require you to have this, require you to have that or they are programs that they've curated for people that are solely in the gym. And if that's your target and if that's what you're looking for, great, it'll work for you. But if you're someone like me that's just kind of an everyday person that's looking to, you know, obviously work on their health and fitness, but doesn't necessarily have the resources like a gym, a program like this is perfect. The only type of exercise equipment that she kind of recommends is a resistance band, which I feel like at this point in time, most people have. And she does sell resistance bands on her website. I didn't purchase any because one, I already have some, and two, the bands that I have are very similar, if not the same to hers, just like a different label on them. So what are the cons? To be honest with this program, there really weren't many cons, if any. The only one that I could kind of scrape together for this video was the meal plan. So I can show kind of a, an exam, a screenshot of the meal plan. And you can see just kind of high level that it's quite plain. And it just seemed like it was, <laughs> it was encouraging you to just eat like chicken or poultry, you know, like turkey, whatever, fish, fruits and vegetables, and like nuts. I mean, there were some grains in there like uh, brown rice and things like that, but it just seemed super, super plain and boring. So I felt like I was kind of struggling a little bit towards the latter part of the month to try to be creative with, you know, chicken and poultry and stuff. And because I was kind of trying to incorporate more healthy meals, not only for myself, but for my fiance and also make them interesting, we got tired of chicken and fish very quickly. Throughout this program, and you'll see, you know, kind of the comparison of, you know, what I looked like at the beginning of the challenge versus, you know, what I look like after, you'll see that there, there are very small changes, very, very small changes, even after I measured myself and everything, you know, I probably lost an inch there or maybe gained an, a half an inch here, you know, in a place like maybe my arms or my calves or my butt or something like that. So even though like, if you're looking at me physically speaking, the changes are quite small. For me, other things, did occur that are pretty big and will help in future workouts and fitness programs that I try out. Like, I feel like uh, exercises like sit-ups became easier. Are they still a challenge? Yes. But before where I couldn't really keep my feet on the ground when I was doing a sit-up, now I can. So even though I don't have a six pack or, you know, my abs aren't fully back to where they were like they were in 2019 when I was like really dedicated on going to the gym every day. My core is definitely strengthened and future fitness programs that I try out. I think that any kind of exercise that's concentrating on the core or concentrating on building your booty or anything like that. It's just going to get better. It'll help with my form. It's going to help with core engagement and everything else that kind of goes along with kind of focusing more on those areas. So the million dollar question, would I do it again? A hundred times, yes. And the reason for that is because the workouts are really great to do if you're, you know, just in front of the TV, watching a movie, watching a show, whatever, because it's not like you were doing sprints and you were running like all over your house or your room or whatever. It was, you know, you if you had a smaller space, you pretty much had enough space to do these different workouts. So, you know, if you're in the if if you're in the market for a new workout program and or you want to support a black owned business, definitely check out Butts and Guts by Mecca Day. The fact that there are so many amazing 
black content creators, influencers, fitness gurus, whatever you want to call them out there that are doing their thing is amazing to me. Like I love to see us flourish and if I can support in any way that I can, I will. Definitely check out her Instagram, her Instagram account with all of her workout videos. I swear, if they don't motivate you to get off your butt and work out, I don't know what will because she influenced me to get my butt up and work out. I'll have all her info below so that you can show your support, you know, either follow her on Instagram, you know, check out her website, subscribe to her classes if you're interested, or, you know, purchase a fitness program or resistance band, whatever, you know, kind of fits within your budget, you know, definitely show your support. But to be honest, I think that's all from, from me today in terms of my review of this. Again, this is going to be a series that I'm going to do over a course of like six or seven months. I'm super stoked because I have a lot of people kind of lined up that I'm really excited to try their program. So see you on the next one. Bye.